AI-generated movies could be right around the corner. OpenAI unveiling its new text-to-video model, dubbed Sora. Now, it can generate videos for up to a minute long based on what a user prompts. And, I mean, if you, what we're looking at right now, this was barely even four sentences of a prompt to create this. You get multi-shot angles, high definition. You can put in if you want it to be drone shots, if you want it to be slow motion. You basically put in the background, the location, everything. I mean, some of the, it's visually, it's, it's stunning. It's, it looks like 4K, oh, that is cute. That reminds <laughs> me of my dog. I don't know if it reminds me of your dog. It's so cute and small. But it, it looks incredible. And for people like us, it obviously leads to a question about what's going to happen to content creators in the industry. I feel like in our morning meeting, we were all a little bit stressed, but also, there's the other part of it where maybe it makes our jobs easier. Maybe we don't have to spend hours and hours shooting B-roll and we can just type in traders, New York Stock Exchange, somehow make that beautiful. I mean, it's true. I'm looking at some of the, the, the feedback here. Tim Brooks was a research scientist on the project. He said it learns about 3D geometry and consistency, but he said they didn't actually bake that in. It was just entirely emerged from seeing a lot of data. So really going to show just how much this can evolve, even some of these unexpected outcomes. I mean, if you look at some of, I mean, some of these visuals here, you also have to wonder, though, when you see images of people, mm -hmm. intellectual property, what does that mean mm -hmm. for that? It's, since this isn't an original generation here, it's based on this source data, something that we continue to see here. And also, if you're a makeup artist, an actor, if this really ties in, especially on the heels of a newly negotiated deal, for the Screen Actors Guild and for the actors and artists in the industry, what does, I, I don't know if this is a level that they could have anticipated when they were trying to future-proof their jobs here. Right, it, it's such a great point. And we should also mention that OpenAI did not release any of the details about what went into this, about all kind of the ingredients that went into the secret sauce here. They're keeping that private. And so not knowing the extent of those capabilities may allow us to have a little bit of solace that maybe there's a lot more time between something like that being super usable for folks in our own newsrooms around, you know, video and content creation more broadly. Maybe we've got more time before we see super disruption. But I guess if it, if it puts makeup on our faces the way a TikTok filter does, I'm not super opposed to that. I don't know how you feel about this, Rochelle. Well, it's one of those things. If you suddenly like move to the left, like I know I like to move a lot and your makeup is still sitting like five inches to the right. Suddenly off no, the nobody, face. nobody wants to see the before and after on that. Um, it, it is worth noting, though, they, they do have a team who is testing it for harms and risks at the moment. Right. Because we have keep having this issue of this technology moving faster than regulators can keep up, and some of the harms that we're still not aware of, as we uh, mentioning here from, the, from that research scientist, something you can't plan for what you can't plan for. Right. So really, at least being thoughtful about this, how this is being deployed. But this text to video, I mean, it's, it's pretty incredible when you look at mm. just the ultra 4K detail that you're seeing on this. You bring up a great point, though, which is some of the risks. And the CEO did mention that they have red teaming coming up for Sora. That's what they call the kind of team of specialists that test their AI models, make sure that they're not, you know, open to big cybersecurity threats. They basically act like bad actors, try to make something bad, bad happen with the tools in order to kind of prevent against that in the future, uh, saying that a spokesperson from OpenAI saying that they're going to assess critical areas for harms or risks. So interesting to see as we continue to hear about cyber threats, you know, in, across all industries. We were talking about that with DraftKings earlier. How is that going to play into this, particularly when, to your point earlier, there are so many questions about kind of the uh, use of people's identities in this in this material moving forward? What is that going to look like and how are they going to pressure test that against any cyber hacks moving forward? Indeed, still a lot of questions. I mean, at least I guess if you're a creator, you, you've got some options there in terms of a, a quick start here, but right. a lot of questions indeed.